To get things started, I'm going to talk about myself. I'm from the great state of Illinois. I know there's some Illinois folks here. Yes? Yeah, thank you. I'm from Grand Ridge. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I grew up on a farm in Grand Ridge. Uh, I was raised by my grandmother. I do not like Halloween. I grew up on a farm in Illinois. Yeah. I grew up on a farm. Our closest neighbor, Mrs. Hallett, lived two miles down the road. So Halloween was the longest night of the year when I was a kid. You'd walk two miles, get an M&M, walk home, happy Halloween. What a stupid <laughs> holiday that is. The interesting thing about the farm, is, there's a couple of things. The first one is when I was a little boy, I was raised by my grandmother, and I see there's some grandparents here tonight. I was raised by my grandmother, and uh, <laughs> I hear you. If you're, and and for, for that group, let me um, explain Facebook. Um, no, no. This is all Facebook is, this is all it is. If you boil Facebook down to the essential elements that make up Facebook, this is all it is. The phone rings, you pick it up, a complete stranger says, hey, I'm baking cookies, and hangs up. That's Facebook, so <laughs> you're not missing a thing. I was raised by my grandmother. She would fold the socks in the morning, every morning, and she would fold them into a ball and the opening of the sock would be at the top of the ball, and she would do it so it looked like a smile. So when I would open my sock drawer in the morning, every morning, there were nine or 15 smiling little fuzzballs looking up at me. Now at the same time, on television was a lady with a sock on her hand named Sherry Lewis, okay, remember her? And she would talk to this sock. So I'm on a farm in Illinois, being raised by my grandmother. So one day, instead of taking the sock and putting it on my foot, I put the sock on my hand, hello, hello, and the sock actually talked back to me, how are you, I'm good, I'm not talking to my hand, talk to the hand, okay, whatever. I've moved my act up into the year 2018. My grandmother was a seamstress, and she and I started building these when I was a little kid. We built this scarecrow, he did not come out the way I wanted, come here, ah, sorry. This is my buddy, his name is Romeo. I know, it's pretty freaky. Um, this part right here is a Clorox bottle. All right, that part right there is a Clorox bottle. That's all it is. The handle on the back's been cut out. My grandmother, without a high school education, genius, cut the handle out of the back of the Clorox bottle. My arm goes inside. Ah, oh, sorry. It's covered with terry cloth and furniture foam. My head, you're fine. Um, the hair is from a wig shop in New, New York City where we work. What's up, girl? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, the thing that's going up and down his eyebrows, mm -hmm. okay. That's a coat hanger. The white part of his eyes are a ping pong ball. It's very low tech. The clothing, what's up, huh? These clothes are from a store called The Gap. You know it. My kids are writing a book called The Puppet Wears Gap. We wear Target. All right. This is a good card. They're a great card. What's up, girl? All right, Romeo, stop it. All right. Come on, we're in Hawaii. Mm-hmm, they're nice. Everybody's in a good mood. Let's just do our thing. What's up, man? How are you? These are hardworking people in the insurance industry. Whoa, cutting edge, yep. What you looking at? <laughs> what you looking at, man? Okay, Romeo, stop it. <laughs> this dude's sitting here like, ooh, ooh, ooh. okay, all right. Leave him alone. I'm your worst nightmare. Come on, man. <laughs> These are hard-working people. What job have you ever had? I was a voodoo doll. A what? A voodoo doll. A voodoo doll. Twist my leg. Like that? Yeah. That doesn't hurt? Not me. <laughs> Some guy in California is going nuts right now. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Will you stop laughing? I'm not. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Mm-hmm, girl. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Leave her alone. We're working with Trustmark, okay? Mm-hmm. You meet a beautiful woman, you know it. You want to impress her? I already did. Oh, stop it. <laughs> what do you say? Girl, okay. I'm a broker. All right, come on, man. Oh, stop, oh, stop. That's pandering. That's pandering. He's pandering. He's pandering to the audience. That's pandering. That is not what we do. Where's my mic? We got one microphone. We're sharing a mic. Who's the sound guy? Joe's back there. Yo, Joe, leave him alone. Where's my mic? I mean, okay, all right, all right, all right. Stop it. This is a good cut. They're very, very nice people. Why don't you leave them alone? Who's this guy? Jonah's sitting right back there? Yeah, he's sitting here like this. Okay, okay. Leave him alone. I'm your worst nightmare. Come on, man. 
And there's, these are my, who's this guy sitting up front? These are execs, we don't want to make fun of them. I'm not making fun, I'm talking to him. Hello, sir. What is your name? Fitz. Hey, Fitz, nice guy. Yep, is that your nickname? That's your name. Okay, don't get angry. Okay, come on, man. <laughs> Just ask him, why don't you leave him alone? Where are you from, Fitz? Where do you live? New York. New York City? Yep. Whoa, okay. And what do you do for trust, Mark? You don't work with Trustmark? What are you doing here? Okay, come on, man. <laughs> Stop it. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. I'm talking to you, Fitz. Okay. <laughs> Thought you'd sneak in. Okay. <laughs> what, do you work for Progressive or something? All right, come on, man. Come on. Leave him alone. Don't even go there. You're such a pander. You're such a pander. He's a nice man, okay? Are you married to somebody who works for Trustmark Fitz? The woman there said yes, and he goes, no, okay. So you know they're married. Okay, come on, man. He's a nice man, leave him alone. What do you do for a living, Fitz? What's your job, what do you do? You're in commercial real estate. Oh, this guy's got money. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. You're your own little Donald Trump, huh? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't make fun of people. That is not what we do. This is not a night about that. Leave him alone. Do you mind? His wife is laughing. At I don't care. <laughs> Apologize. Sorry, Fitz. Leave him alone. Thanks for talking to me, dude. I'm not real. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> and why would you do that? Why would you do that on a magic night? Hello, Mr. Puppet. Okay, okay. <laughs> You made your point. I'm from New York. Okay, man. <laughs> I don't even work for Trust Mark. All right. <laughs> I sell commercial real estate. All right. Gosh, does the building talk? Come on. Oh, Fitz, open my door. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> that is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Dude, I am so sorry. No. I would never say the things that come out of his mouth. <laughs> You've got a great sense of humor. In your business, in this business, in the world, you've got to have a sense of humor. And I'm glad, because one night, here's a true story, you can write all the jokes you want, and what you're going to see here this evening is a lot of people who've put thousands and thousands of hours into what they do, which is why they are so talented. Myself, it's a little different story, and I'll give you a great example. I'm at the Improv in Los Angeles, the midnight show. This is a few years ago. I'm doing my act with my buddy Romeo, and there's a drunk guy here. I'm doing my act. Drunk guy there. I'm here. Romeo, my partner, is here, and these two had an argument. <laughs> like I wasn't there. He was yelling, but not at me. He was yelling at him. <laughs> I'll meet you outside after the show. And I'm just trying to keep my act going, so I have the puppet talk back to the guy. All right, I'll go with you, but you have to carry me. Things like that. And my show is going, I'm panic. I'm, I'm losing it. So I say to the man, will you please take it easy? You're ruining my act. He says, you shut up. I'm talking to him. <laughs> it was like living in a far side cartoon. And the guy flips out, runs up on stage as if I'm not there, runs right past me, runs over to Romeo, my partner, grabs his head, ow, sorry, <laughs> decapitates the puppet, rips the head out of the Clorox bottle, takes the puppet head, just the head, and throws it. Romeo's head is flying through the air. Being good at what I do, I had the presence of mind to make the head go, Wah! But Fitz, you've got a great sense of humor. Thanks for playing along. This is my friend Fitz, everybody. Thank you very much, sir. Get back in the bag. No. Get back in the bag. Fitz. Shush. Back in the bag. Fitz. Shush. I need real estate. Shut up, man. Here, you sit back here. Oh, sorry. Somebody just went here. Oh. He's okay. He's okay.